So guys, I'm not quite sure how the editing for this is going to work yet, but somewhere here there should be a wheel. And I'm going to look there a lot instead of at the camera, just deal with it. Um, I need to put a hundred superstars names on here. So if you see a hundred, perfect. If you don't, then you might see one and 50, two and 51. So basically 50 and one and 50. So you guys will figure it out. Depends on what I show. So the one will be one slash 50 one or two slash 51 or i'll just have one 200 because i don't know about my space and editing i'm gonna move a little bit this way i'll put the wheel here somewhere anyway so this person asked me to blind rank 100 but it's wwe and aw superstars now you guys know i'm not a big aw fan i'm more of a wwe guy but i'm gonna i do watch aw so i'm gonna rank them based on themselves so i've got a wheel here with the 100 best wwe superstars and 100 best AEW superstars and we're gonna do so it's 200 I'm gonna blind rank a total of 100 this video is gonna be a while but for those of you that stick around I absolutely love you okay so let's get the first spin going and the first spin is Raquel Gonzalez I'm gonna start with the low um, low ones immediately because I last time I got burned with not doing the lows I'm just gonna put her at 90 okay Let's go. And I'm also removing them from the wheel so I can't possibly get doubles. Next, I'm getting Bianca Ballet. Ooh, that's going high. I'm not exactly sure how high. I'm going to put Bianca Ballet at, let's go for 15. I think 15 is a solid spot for Bianca Ballet. I think Bianca Ballet is absolutely solid. Next to what we're getting, we are getting Britt Baker. Very close to Bianca Ballet, but I'm going to put her at, let's go for 25. Okay, this video is gonna it's gonna be a while, but I'm really enjoying I really enjoy making this content for you guys. Uh, next is Isaiah Swerve Scott. He's he's up there. He's really up there. I'm gonna say <laughs> blind ranking hundred is so incredibly tough. I'm gonna put him at seventeen. I have no idea how this is gonna pan out, but I'm just having a good time in the journey. Next, we are getting Mandy Rose. Um, I'm gonna put Mandy Rose at, let's go for a solid, let's go for solid 85 for Mandy Rose. I don't know how good I am with this at the moment. We'll see at the end, right? Next, we'll be getting Finn Balor. Oh, he's going somewhere at the top. I'm not exactly sure yet where. I, I can't even remember who I have where. I'm just deducting the numbers on my phone. I'm just taking the numbers away that I have. So I can't even think who do I have to compare where they should go? But Finn, I'm going to put Finn at 12. I think he's one of the best on either roster. So Finn 12 is solid for me. Next, we are getting... Well, it still says here Eo Shirai. It should be Eo Sky. But who, who really cares? I'm going to put Eo at a solid 20... 24. I think 24 is solid for Eo. This is a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Next... Tay Conti, Tay Mello, Tay Conti, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes the names on here is not going to be exactly what it should be. Let's go for 75. Let's just, let's just do 75. I don't know. I'm probably really horrible at this, but I'm trying my best here, people. Adam Cole, baby. Um, let's do 30 for Adam Cole. I think 30 is a solid, solid, solid spot for Adam Cole, baby. Next... Who's this? It's a short name. Rio. Mm, Rio, let's solid 50. I think 50 is a really fair spot for Rio. I don't know what you guys think there in your, wherever you're watching this. Karrion Cross. <sighs> Karrion Cross is so underrated, but at the moment I'm going to have to put him at uh, 70. I think 70 is the only fair possible spot for Karrion Cross at the moment. Next, LA Knight. Yeah! Hot take, I'm not the biggest LA Knight fan. Um, let's just go for 51. I'm not a, I'm not an LA Knight guy. I just, I don't think he's as good as people make him out to be. Next, Dustin Rhodes. Oh, he's so good. The natural seven was bad, but the natural was so good. Dustin Rhodes is so good. Goldust, super underrated. I'm gonna get hated for this in the comments, but I'm putting Dustin Rhodes at 20. I think Dustin Rhodes is one of the most underrated wrestlers to ever walk the face of this earth. Thunder Rosa, let's just go 
56 is as good as any spot for Thunder Rose. Oh man, I'm struggling with this. I'm going to be so bad at this. Nick, Roderick Strong, he was good in the... He's not so good anymore at the moment. I'm going to go for... Why not? 69 for Roderick Strong. Nice. Okay. And next, we are getting... Tommaso Ciampa, Tomato Champion. I'm a big Tommaso fan, but there's so many crates on here. Let's go for 29 for Tommaso Ciampa. This, this is either going to be a brilliant list or the worst list I've ever done in my life, but I'm just having fun with it. Mia Yim, um, gonna have to go with a low number. I'm gonna have to go for 80. I just don't think Mia, oh, I closed. If Mia Yim just pops up again, I'll just remove it next time. That was an honest mistake, but next we are getting Luchasaurus. I love Luchasaurus. I'm going to put Luchasaurus at 19. I love Luchasaurus. I mean, he's a wrestler that's secretly a dinosaur. What more could you want? He's a wrestling dinosaur. Matt Riddle, well, it's technically Riddle, or whatever you want to call him right now. I'm going to put Riddle at... Cities. I should actually put him at 420. He's 42 left. Yes, just because. <laughs> just because it's Matt Riddle. 42. He was going to go higher, but 42 because that's 420. It's Matt Riddle. Why not? Just having fun with this list. Next, we are getting. I thought I already had Britt Baker. Didn't I already have Britt Baker? I'm pretty sure I already had her. I hope there's not some copies on here that I missed. Damien Priest. Senor Money in the Bank. I'm going to put him at um, 40. No, he's a future world champion. I'm going to put him at 32. Senor Money in the Bank. I almost just press closed again. Remove. Okay, who are we getting next on this lovely wheel of mine? Next, we get Hikaru Shida. Hikaru Shida. I don't know. This is so tough. Let's just go for 70, 76, because that seems like as good a spot as any. Next, we are getting Tony Storm. I think Tony Storm has a very, very bright future. I think Tony, well, she's already been in the business for a long time. I'm going to put Tony Storm at 49. I don't even have any idea how many I've already done. I should be close to like 30 or 40 at least. Next, Bailey. Bailey is one of the goats in female wrestling, in in my opinion, of course. I'm gonna put Bailey at Bailey at ten. Easy. Bailey goes at ten. Who's gonna be my number one spot? That is an interesting question. Indy Hartwell is definitely not gonna be my number one spot. Indy Hartwell is going at ninety-one. I don't think she's a fantastic wrestler, but I don't think her character everything is where it needs to be. Next. I, I really thought I was going to land on Cameron Graham. Dexter Loomis now would have been perfect. Index. Cameron Grimes. I really, really, really do not rate Cameron Grimes. I'm going to put him at 81. Oh, man. This is super tough. And I really, really don't know if there's going to be copies on here that I don't know about. And if there is, I am really sorry. MJF. He's going top 10. It's just a matter of where on the top 10. Let's put MJF. Let's put him at 5. I think 5 is... Good for MJF. Oh, I just closed instead of deleting MJF. I'll keep note of that MJF specifically. Hangman Adam Page. Two years ago, he would have been much higher, but right now, I can't go any higher than 31 for Hangman. I don't think he's he's it anymore. My opinion, of course. I might be very wrong, but that's just my opinion. Next, Tamina. That's going down low, way, way low. I'm gonna put Tamina at. 98. There's not a lot of people that I'd put lower than Tamina. There's one that I possibly would. Or two, because I've got two spots open. Next, I'm getting Shamus. Shamus, I am going at... I'm going to put Shamus at 11. I think Seamus is incredible. Such a goat. And what he's done for the business is absolutely incredible. Next, Dom. <laughs> Where do you put Dom? He's such a good heel. I'm just gonna put Dom at... Let's just put him at 33, like a third of the way there. I don't know, he's such a good heel, he gets such heat. But he's just not it. Uh, next, Dakota Kai. Uh, Dakota, Dakota Kai is going at 52. Because why not? I'm... I don't know how good this list is going to be or this blind ranking. Nikki Cross, ah, sorry Nikki, you're going down way low. 94 for Nikki Cross. I don't think 
Nikki Cross. When she was with Sanity, she was brilliant, but a superhero thing didn't work. What she's doing now is not working. Chris Statlander. Chris Statlander is going at 66 because I just feel like it. Uh, Tony Storm. Tony Storm. Didn't we already have Tony Storm? I think I already had Tony Storm. Is there duplicates in here? And if there is, then I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I think already Xavier Woods, he's going top, top 40. Let's put Xavier at 36. If there is duplicates, I really do apologize. This is just, it's hard keeping up with 100. Uh, next, we are getting Oni Lorcan. Oni Lorcan is going at 95. I don't think Oni Lorcan is, is the, the hype is is there for Oni Lorcan. The hype is there, but I don't think the hype is founded. Carrion Cross. Did I not already have carry on cross? Yes. What well, I'm keep removing them, but they keep bringing up duplicates. So if I've got duplicates on this list, just please forgive me. Oh, uh, Seth Rollins. He's definitely going right up there. I'm going to put Seth Rollins at three. I thought it was going to land on Randy Orton and y'all probably know where Randy Orton's going. Uh, next is The Miz. The Miz, one of the most underrated heels in modern times. I'm going to put The Miz at 14. And in case you're wondering what the noise is, my wife's making me some coffee. I don't know if you can hear it with the mic ski, but my, my lovely wife is making me some coffee while I'm filming a really long I'm video. Lucky. I'm super lucky, right? Cesaro, okay, it should probably say there Claudio, but it's, I've just put on there Cesaro. I'm gonna put Cesaro at uh, 20, no, 18. I'm gonna put Cesaro at 18. Next. And again, if I have duplicates, then I'm terribly sorry. Next, we are getting Matt Hardy. Now, this is the entire career. So Matt Hardy was part of the Hardy Boys. I'm going to put him at nine. This is not just currently. This is what they have done in their careers, removed from all instances. I don't know. If I get a duplicate again, I said this now a million times. I'm really sorry. Uh, Malachi You're Black. You're duplicating yourself. <laughs> My wife's saying I'm duplicating myself. Malachi Black. I pref preferred Alistair Black. Uh, but I think 13 is a solid spot for him. He's... He's got the best kick in the business, in my opinion, of course. Next, who are we getting next? Chris Statlander. I'm pretty sure we already had Chris Statlander. Was that one of the ones? No, MJF was the one I forgot to remove. Um, I don't know why this is. We've already had Roderick Strong as well. I'm pretty sure we had Roderick Strong. Why is there duplicates on here? Uh, Cash Wheeler. Mm, Cash Wheeler. FDR 35. That's as good as I can do for Cash Wheeler. Dax Hardwood might go a little bit higher, but by the time I get Tony D'Angelo, um, let's just go for 65. Uh, honestly, I might be messing up so badly with this, but I'm just having so much fun. It's really tough. It's really tough doing a five person blind ranking. 50 or 10, really tough. 50 was super incredible tough. Now 100, I, I don't even know. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is going. I'm just going to put Cody Rhodes at 8. I'm leaving the higher spots for people that I personally prefer to Cody Rhodes. He's good, but he's not one of my personal favorites. Nia, oh, I thought it was going to be Nia. She's going 100. Spoiler alert, Nia Jax is going 100. Shayna Baszler, I'm going to put Shayna Baszler at 60. Where am I now? Have I even done 50 yet? I don't know. This is going to be a long video. Next, we are getting... Kenny Omega. Now, usually I wouldn't put him high, but this is AEW as well. So I'm going to put Kenny Omega at six because usually my stuff is based on WWE, but this is based on AEW as well as WWE. Next, we are getting Powerhouse Hobbs. I like Powerhouse. Let's go for 34. I think 34 is a, is a solid spot. After Powerhouse Hobbs, who are we getting next? And next, we are getting AJ Styles. AJ Styles, I think... I think seven is a good spot. AJ Styles has to be top 10. That's just one of those things. There's still a couple of high spots, one, two, and four left. Dexter Loomis, I'm sorry, Dexter, you are going at, I don't know where I put Indy, but let's just put Dexter at 84. I still got a lot of high spots, like high as in bad spots that I have to fill out. I hope I get still Adam Cole. We've already had Adam Cole. See, I don't know why this wheel is trying to ruin my life. Next, we are getting Brian Cage. See, if I put Brian Cage as a, as a bad number, he might eat me, which is terrifying. 
So just for that, Brian, you are definitely going top 50. I'm going to put you at 47 because I'm genuinely scared Brian Cage will eat me. And that's an honest, honest fear. Next, we are getting Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley is going at four. In my opinion, currently on both rosters, the best women's wrestler. And I've said that way before the whole Judgment Day thing. I said it when she was still in NXT. Next, Orange Cassidy, the Juice Man. I'm going to put the Juice Man at 27. Uh, why not? I don't honestly don't know if <laughs> where you should go. I've still got a lot of bad numbers left. I need to start filling those out. Santana, there we go. Easy opportunity to fill out one of the bad numbers. Or not bad, high numbers. 89 for Santana. My... AEW rankings are probably not as good as it should be because I don't watch it very often. Chris Jericho though, he is, see I can't put Jericho at one or two so I'm going to put him at the highest available spot which is 16. Just because Jericho is so good but one and two I'm leaving for, I don't know who I'm leaving it for, definitely not for Sonya Deville, she's taking one of those, those high spots, well high as in high number not a high as in good. Let's go for 90, 93 for Sonya Deville. Thank you so much. And there's my, my lovely wife. She's going to give a wave to you guys. Yeah. And she made, made me some coffee. Fantastic. Okay, Sonia Deville, I think she went at 93. Who are we getting next? We are getting Luchasaurus. I already had Luchasaurus. Why is there another Luchasaurus on here? Next, Eddie Kingston. He's going quite high. Not sure how high. I'm going to go for 28 for Eddie Kingston. I think that's a really 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 fair spot for eddie kingston next we are getting bobby lashley i'm gonna put him 26 no let's make him 37 because the 26 is quite a high spot and i'm leaving the high spots for i don't know who i'm leaving it for but i'm leaving it for someone because last time i ran out of high spots penta l zero he's definitely getting a decent spot let's go for 39 because i really like penta i think penta is fantastic next to what we getting we are getting kushida let's go for 61 uh, not the biggest fan as you guys can see my aw knowledge is not maybe as it should be but that's just one of those things ricky stocks ricky stocks 57 i'm running out of mid spots to put the mid people ricky stocks is going at and then pete dunn Pete Dunn is going quite high. I'm a big Pete Dunn fan. I'm going to put Pete Dunn at 40. I think Pete Dunn is absolutely fantastic. Who are we getting next? Ray Phoenix. Where did I put Penta? Because I prefer Penta to Ray, so I'm just going to put Ray at 45. I don't know where I put Penta, so I'm hoping Penta is higher on my list than Ray, if that makes any sense at all. Jungle Boy. I like Jungle Boy. Probably should sound there Jack Berry. Let's go for 38. Okay, I need probably about 30 more or so. <laughs> wow, this is, this is taking forever. Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet, whatever you want to call her. Let's go for, let's go for, I need a high number. Let's go for 23. I put her Bailey a lot higher than Sasha, apparently. Uh, still, there's still some greats on here. Next, we're getting Ricochet. I'm not a Ricochet fan. I know he's, he's so good, but I'm just not a big fan of Ricochet. So I'm going to go for 55. Uh, middle of the road kind of spot for, in my opinion, the middle of the road kind of superstar. He's obviously incredibly athletic, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not a fan. Buck, Buck is the same as Ricochet. I'm going to put him at 50, 53. Incredible athlete. It's just I'm not the biggest fan. Next, Ember Moon. Ex exactly. Copy what I said for the previous two. And you have Ember Moon's answer, so Ember Moon's going at 58. Who are we getting next? We are really working through this now. R Rio, again, not the biggest fan. Rio's going 82. And you AEW fans out there are probably shouting at me right now, but this is my opinion, and I am trying to be as fair. We've already had Tommaso Ciampa. Why? I need to try and remember who we had already because apparently I do rem remove them. Candice LeRae, she's so incredibly good. She's one of the best female professional wrestlers in the world. If you watch her matches, it's so smooth. But I've got only limited high sp or good spots left, so I'm going to go for 41. I think it was 41. I already deleted it. Uh, next, we are getting this Matt Riddle. See this Matt Riddle again. I am, you guys are see, see me clicking remove in all instances. I'm going to put him just below his wife, 43, because I I can't put him 26 
I would have put I would have swapped the two around, but I think she's so good. Austin Theory, good heel, not a fan. 62. Uh, he's probably a future champion, world champion, but I just don't think he's. In my opinion, I I'm just don't think he's it. Dustin Rhodes already had him, and I have removed him. Why are you hating me like this, Will? I don't I don't get why it's doing this, but I'm trying to remember. Tegan Knox. Do we have Tegan Knox? No, I don't. If I'm doing, I honestly can't remove that Tegan Knox. But if I've had, then I do apologize for having two on the list. Tegan is going at 88. Honestly, this is frustrating because you guys can see me removing them, but the wheel is not playing with. Christian Cage. Mm, his entire career, he has to go high. He can't go two, he can't go one. So I'm going to do highest possible remaining spot, which is 21. If I get Edge now, then I made a big mistake because Edge should go higher than Christian Cage, in my opinion. John Morrison. Oh, I love Johnny Nitro, John Morrison, Johnny Mundo. Let's just go for 48. I don't know what I'm going to do with all the high spots. I thought I was sorting out the high spots early, but apparently not. I just don't want to... Cameron Grimes. I think I've already had Grimes. Yes, I've had... Wheel, why are you like this? Again, I'm sorry if, I, if I've got doubles. Dr. Britt Breaker, didn't, haven't I had her twice already? Literally twice? This is the third time? Tony Storm, I've already had twice as well. That's the third time as well. Why are you doing this to me? John Silver, not a fan at all. Let's go for 96. Because that's just how I feel about John Silver. Is there even in 200 on you that I accidentally type uh, Dax Hard Harwood? Did we have Dax Hard? No, we had Cash Wheeler. Okay, so Dax, I can't even remember where I put Cash. I'm going to put Dax at 68. I... I'm busy slowly but surely losing it with the copies on here and everything. I'm Lacey Evans. Lacey's going at 97. I'm slowly but surely losing my my sanity. I'm losing my sanity completely. Zaya Lee, let's go for 86. I need to get these these high numbers done. There's definitely not 200 on this wheel apparently. Even though I, Darby Allen, Darby Allen, I'm a huge fan. But I can't go 20, I can't go 1, 2, 22, 26, no, probably not 44. I think that's as good as I can go for Derby. Next, uh, next, Charlotte Flair. She's going 26. I think she's one of the best female wrestlers on the face of the earth. Next, we are getting Indy Hartwell. We already had Indy Hartwell. Will, why are you like this? Next, Santos, I oh know Bron Breaker. Who Bron Breaker is gonna have to go high? I can't put him 22, 2, or 1. He's gonna have to go 46. Okay, I again made the mistake of not doing the bad numbers early on, so, and I'm paying the. Well, Carmella can have a bad number. Um, let's put Carmella 83. I again made the same mistake I did last time with the 50 blind ranking. So, yeah, sue me. Jade Cargill, she's not there yet. I'm gonna have to put her at 87. She's got the look. But she's not there yet. Next, we are getting Alexa Bliss. Now we're talking Alexa Bliss, 54. I can't put a 22, I can't put a 2, I can't put a 1. Can't do, I'm putting, giving her one of the highest remaining spots, which is crazy. Serena Deeb. Serena Deeb is going 92. I still have 99 and 100 left. But I'm leaving 100 for Nia Jax. I really hope I get Nia Jax so you can go to 100. Next, MJF. Oh, MJF, I didn't remove. That's one I definitely didn't remove. Uh, who is next on my Wardlow? Again, if I give him a bad spot, he's going to eat me. But let's just do 72. Is this the worst blind ranking I've ever done? Probably. Matt Riddle? Or have already got Matt Riddle as well. Why are you doing this to me, Will? Why are you trying to make me look bad? Next, Liv Morgan. One of the highest spots remaining is going to be 59. I'm leaving 22, 2, and 1 for... I don't know who, because Liv could have possibly taken one of them. Johnny Gargano, we've already done Johnny Gargano, right? We've, we've gotten him and his wife. This is super frustrating, the wheel. Shotzi, we've not had Shotzi yet. I'm gonna have to put Shotzi at 79. That, that kills me to put Shotzi at 79 because she's actually incredibly good. It's just, I can't put any higher. Becky Lynch. Now Becky, I'm gonna put at the highest remaining spot except for one and two. So I'm gonna put Becky at 22. This is tough because now the next highest spot remaining is 63. I need two greats. Dol, sorry, you're going 63. If I could redo this, you would never go at 63. But that's just the way this cookie crumbles. Next, 
Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is going 77. We are almost there, people. Who is next? Who is my next victim? KO. I'm gonna have to do two. Just because I can't put KO at 64, that would just, it would literally destroy me. We have one left and then just bad numbers. Sammy, Sammy, I'm going to put Sammy at 78. I literally just have bad numbers left and one. One, I'm really hoping there's a very specific person that pops up. Finn, I had Finn very early on, right? Why are you again on this list, on this wheel? I have no idea why you are the way that you are. Jeff Hardy, if I don't, if I get Randy Orton now, then it is what it is. But Jeff is going at my one spot. Now, if I get Randy, I might cry on the inside just a little bit. Biggie, Biggie, you're going highest remaining spot, 64. Again, Biggie, you won't really ever go there, but that's all I've got left, buddy. I've got two, four, six spots left. Andrade, I'm gonna put Andrade at 73, much lower than his wife, which is a crime because Andrade is so good. Who are we getting next? Asuka, I'm gonna have to give Asuka the highest remaining spot, which is 67. This is such a bad list. <laughs> I'm doing so, so, so horribly. But it is what it is. Drew McIntyre is apparently 71. There you go, Drew. You are my 71. And then next, who is next? Ethan Page is going 99. I've got a 74 left. And I've got 100 left. I really hope I get Nia Jax now, otherwise someone else. Ortiz, you are going 74. Imagine I get Randy Orton now and he's my 100. I'm really hoping for Nia Jax. Come on, Nia, pop up Nia Jax. Not Kofi, no! No! Kofi's my 100. This list is a super fail, but I had a lot of fun doing this. So now, if you made it all the way to this part of the video, if you made it all the way to this part of the video, let me just get what I'm trying to speak about right now, if I can find it. Where would it be? Maybe behind Rock and Sock? Ah, it's behind Rock and Sock. So, in here, In year, if you made it to this part of the video, in year, I have some random WWE trading cards. Maybe not the best ones ever, but I've got some random ones. Some random, random WWE playing cards. If you made it to this part of the video, comment WWE trading card. Just that comment. No, no, that makes it too obvious. Other people will copy that comment. Um, if you made it to this part of the video, um, what could you comment that no one else can just copy to get into this by looking at the comments? Uh, if you made it to this part of the video, hmm. Just comment, Rhea Ripley flexing. There we go, because that could just be random. Comment Rhea Ripley flexing. If you made it to this part of the video, I'll put you in a giveaway, a draw, and then the winner of that draw will get one of these random cards. I'm not necessarily gonna give the Rhea Ripley one away. I'm just gonna pick a random one, and I will send it to you via mail. It's just one trading card, but it's just to show a little bit of thanks for sticking with me with like probably like close to half an hour video. I really do appreciate that. So if you stuck around, Rhea Ripley flexing. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.